I'm here in front of Maharshi Patanjali Golden Dome of Pure Knowledge in Maharshi University of Management here in Fairfield, Iowa, where some 600 people are coming to do their program, practice TM, TM City program, and yogic flying every day. Now, to understand what is yogic flying, I spoke with the vice president of the university, Dr. Craig Pearson, who has his PhD in Maharshi Vedic Science. He has authored The Supreme Awakening and the complete book of yogic flying. So he is an authority figure on this topic and I asked him, what is yogic flying? Yogic flying, I would say, is the most powerful meditation technique available in the world today. But to really understand what yogic flying is, we have to understand what transcendental meditation is because yogic flying is an advanced technique of the Transcendental Meditation Program. The Transcendental Meditation Program, as many people know, is a simple, natural, effortless technique for allowing the activity of the mind to settle inward into a state of complete stillness, silence. And this is the most powerful level of the mind. This is the level of the mind which is really an unbounded ocean of creativity, of intelligence, of power, of energy. That technique by itself is extraordinarily powerful in transforming brain into brain functioning to become more integrated, in developing creativity and intelligence, in developing personality, actually in, in creating peace in the environment around us. So transcendental meditation by itself, so simple and natural, is extremely powerful. But the TM, the yogic flying, which is part of a set of advanced techniques of transcendental meditation called the TMC program, actually accelerates the development that we get with our Transcendental Meditation Program. Now, how does that happen? With Transcendental Meditation, the mind settles inward, as I've described. The TM City Program, and particularly Yogic Flying, trains the mind to think and act from that most silent, most settled, most powerful level of the mind. I think anybody could understand but when we come to the most silent, still level of the mind, and when we can begin to think and act from that level, that would be a level of extraordinary power. And why is that a good thing? Because then we can fulfill our desires most easily from there. When we practice Transcendental Meditation, within 60 seconds of closing your eyes to meditate, the brain will make a dramatic shift into a highly integrated state of functioning. Now, with yogic flying, when we practice this technique, there's an upsurge of coherence that encompasses the whole brain. And I didn't mention that during yogic flying practice, it's called yogic flying because during the practice, the body will spontaneously lift up from the ground in a series of, of hops. And the discussion of brain functioning is important here because during the two-second interval, right before the body lifts up, that's when there's an upsurge of, of integration and coherence, synchrony in brain functioning. So the phenomenon of the body lifting up comes out of this highly organized style of brain functioning. Research shows that this orderliness in brain functioning is not limited to the brain. It's not encased within the cranium. That orderliness radiates out into the environment. It's something that can be measured objectively, empirically, scientifically, and we measure that increased coherence, increased peace in reduced crime rates wherever there are a significant number of people practicing this TM City program. It's reflected in reduced accident rates, in reduced international terrorism, when open warfare is present. Literally, the number of war deaths declines, the number of bombs falling declines. It's quite a dramatic, a dramatic finding. And the significance of the domes is that people come together and they create this powerful effect of coherence and harmony in the whole environment. Yoga flying creates a kind of bliss that I can't compare with anything. It's not just unbounded bliss, but it's unbounded bliss that is moving and it becomes really exhilarating all over my body and I feel it radiating out too. You know, I think the greatest benefit for me is this... Uh, Cultivation of resilience, the ability to, you know, endure stressful uh, uh, situations and break through and, and just emerge as a stronger and better person on the other side. And one is with a group in the Golden Dome, 
having this experience of transcending, of diving within, and then stimulating that inner ocean of creativity and intelligence through the practice of yogic flying. Which is the most exhilarating practice, because when I came here and experienced the, the peace, and then when I went in the Golden Domes and, and practiced the city program, including yogic flying, it was absolutely mind-blowing. It mm. was incredibly peaceful and so powerful, you know, that the body lifts up and, and it's yes. just this wave of bliss that just takes over. So I really want to thank you so much for coming on the program. We really appreciate your knowledge and, and I know you're so busy to make time for us. It's oh, truly it's a joy to speak about yogic flying. It's one of my favorite things in the